G'day. Early Sunday morning here. Got up at 5.30 a.m. on a Sunday to put the HLT on. The only time I get up early on a Sunday. But today, yay, brew day again. Nice ESB. I left it a bit late, <laughs> but it's going to be for Christmas. So it'll probably be 12, 14 days in the fermenter and then a week conditioning and it should be fine. Nice uh, grain bill, about four kilos of Maris Otter. Uh, there's some Crystal 120 in there, some Munich and some Carafa Special. Uh, I'll put the recipe link down below, it'll be on the Cellar Dweller site. Uh, Christmas ESB, extra special bitter, Christmas style. I'm going to try and add a few different things I haven't used before at the end of the boil. Try and make it a bit Christmassy. I <laughs> hope it turns out okay. Alright, my, uh, as I said, my HLT has been on the while that's ready to go. I've been pre warming the uh, mash tun. So, let's get it in. A good thing to do if you're sort of new to this all grain, or even if you aren't, you should be tasting the grain. Um, checking out the crush. Check out your crush. Make sure the grains aren't crushed too fine. Actually, just want them split. Hopefully, you can see that. This isn't too bad. Nice big shells of the uh, grain. But all of them look like they've been split, which is good. That's what you want. Not too much dust in the bottom. You're going to get a little bit. You can see the darker grain there. The, other, the good thing to do is to taste it. It gives you an idea what the raw grain tastes like. And you get to know them. And it'll, it'll help uh, you figure out what your beer's going to taste like in the end. Um, you can taste You can usually taste if it's fresh. Um, you only need to taste a couple. You'll know if you get the, especially grain or something, or one of the black ones, it might be a bit dark. Even a bit bitter or something like that. But it's a good idea to do it. Just a few grains. It's actually easier to do it before they're crushed, but some of some of us don't have the option of a grain mill just yet to do our own. But I'm sure at your home brew shop they wouldn't mind you uh, testing it out anyway in the shop. If they're proud of their product and they want you to buy it. Right, let's get this in. Well, I've taken a bit out there. Just to show you, might be able to see a little bit better. But just, just taste a few. Mmm, that's nice. That's why Maris is so popular. That's a nice grain. Get used to the flavours. Taste all the way through your wort uh, before it's fermented after it's fermented, before it's carbonated and you get to know the flavours. That's really nice. I have this for breakfast. <laughs> I just added some salts to the mash tun just to adjust my water profile for the way I want it for this beer. I'm going to start with uh, 14 and a half litres of water uh, at nearly 75 degrees. I'm heading for a mash temp of around 66. Leaders.
and there we go leave it before I check the temperature for a couple of minutes just to adjust and even out and we should be able to start the mash timer I hope you can see that it's just over 66 which is great by the time that sits there for a little while it'll be down to me 66 perfect so there she is wrapped up I think I'll mash this one for 75 minutes been 75 minutes now we're just under 66 is what I thought we would be. That's good, perfect. All right, let's see. 75 minutes. Time for mash out. I hope that wind's not too bad. Bloody windy here today. I like this bit. Oh, you get that nice smell of grain. Can you see that? There we go. Now I just got to add. I have to add eight litres of water that's around 98 degrees to get up to mash out temp. That should do. Give it a stir just to distribute the heat a bit. Don't be afraid of stirring your mash. I've never had any tenons out of it. I've actually seen breweries that uh, have a stirrer in there. Tons that stirs just about constantly during the mash. Leave that for 10 minutes. We're ready to take the runnings. Time's up for mash out. Start taking some runnings. Nice colour. I don't know if you can see that yet. Nice gold and brown. I'll just take a litre or two off. Put it back in the mash tun. Just till it's clear, till it's running clear. It's actually not too bad already, but I'll, I'll do a couple of litres. Couple of little bits of grain in there. One more. Now this uh, particular ESB is going to be first wart hopped. I've got uh, forty grams of East Kent Goldings and all first wart hopping means is you just put it in the bottom of your uh, bucket you're going to collect your wart in or if you, go, if you go straight into your boil kettle you put them in your boil kettle all right. and you just take your runnings on top of that Maybe a little bit fast. Let's knock it back a bit. You don't want to take your runnings too fast. We'll let that go. And first, work hopping is just supposed. It's supposed to uh, the bin, the bitterness won't be so harsh from the hopping. Um, it's something to experiment with. It's just a different method. Everything's worth trying, I reckon. I've used it before. Um, I noticed a small difference, I think. I've only done it probably three or four times, so I've got to do it a few more times. 
uh, to really test it out. But I had no ill effects from it. It's worked fine. So it's just something new to try if you haven't tried it before. First ward hopping. Ready just to put the first lot of runnings into my boil pot. Going for a batch barge now, about 17 litres. I want the water is at uh, around 77 degrees. That should do it. Give it a top stir. I don't go right down to the bottom. Just the top. Leave that sit for another 10 or 15 minutes and we'll start taking the second runnings. Now comes the fun part, the experiment part. I like to experiment on my beers. Because it's Christmas, I'm adding some Christmas spices. I was going to use just used allspice, because it tastes a bit like nutmeg, cloves, uh, cinnamon, which is what Christmas is like. And then I had a quick look in the, uh, I don't know where it is, the Brilliant Classic Styles book, and that had a few other spices to add. Um, I'm making up sort of my own mixture, but I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon some ground ginger and a bit of ground nutmeg allspice I'm going to go a good uh, good half teaspoon a bit more probably three quarters of a teaspoon of allspice I'm going to go a good quarter of a teaspoon a bit more of ginger not much nutmeg, I'm not a huge fan of nutmeg. So that's a quarter of a teaspoon measure. I'll probably go that. I don't know, it's probably less than an eighth. Not a huge fan of nutmeg. And cinnamon, I'm gonna go uh, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, I reckon. There's a quarter. There's about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I don't want the spices to be overpowering, I just want them just to be attached there. I don't like many flavours in my beer, other than beer. <laughs> I don't really like fruit, beers or anything like that. I'll drink them, but you know, they're not my favourites. So there, I've got my spices. I'll chuck my Werflock tablet in with that, because these are going to go in at about the 10 minute mark, just at the end of the boil. So I'll chuck my Werflock tablet in there now, so I don't forget it. Well, it's Irish moss. Same thing. Does the same thing. And that's another little tip too, because the, the Irish moss or Werflock or whatever you use is easy to forget. If you, if you if you've got a ten minute edition of hops or, or spices, I've got both. But um, if you whack it in when you remember when you're measuring, you won't forget to put it in. Just because I had so many comments about my um, Evil Dead t-shirt in the last couple of videos I wore. Here's another one. This is a Walking Dead one, of course, if you know. See you. Daryl. Alright, time to take the second runnings from the batch barge. Don't worry if things look a bit gunky today, that's just from the hops, from the first ward hopping. Oh, we're running nice and clear already. I'll still put a couple of litres through. Anyway, I won't video all this. You've seen me do this before. 
and to the second runnings. It's just about done, I think. Well, it is done. All right, we're finished. Get this into the ball pot. And this is where I'll take the pre-boil gravity. Smith estimated 139 and we're actually about 142 I think that is 1042 so we've come out stronger than Beersmith thought we're up a few points I could either not boil so long or actually water it down if I wanted to be accurate but this is not for a competition or anything this is just for me so uh, I'll probably just leave it like that. All well, the runnings are in the boil pot now just to bring it up to the boil. As you can see I'm pretty full. I do got to be careful. I do have my uh, element adjustment there though. Alright here we go with the boil. This is where I've got to be really careful. I might turn one down. See, at the moment, that's just one element on. But you can see it's pretty close to going over the side. Yeah, we've got a nice boil going now. Only using the one element at the moment. The other one's turned right down. So I'll set the timer for about uh, 60 minutes because it was supposed to be a 75 minute boil. And we'll add the last 10 minute addition hops and the Werflock and the spices. For right, some reason the camera didn't work then, but anyway, I just threw in the spices, the Werflock, uh, and the 20 grams of Fuggles for the last 10 minutes of the boil. Uh, if you use, ne use ne yeast, nutrient, or anything like that, you can throw that in as well at the moment. The spices smell awesome actually. I'm surprised. It's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. <laughs> it does, actually. It smells really good. It smells good. There's the uh, alarm. Turn the, flame, turn the elements off. Add in my 20 grams of fuggles for my flame out hops. Get the whirlpool going. Wow, you can really smell those uh, Christmas spices. I hope they don't get too lost. I don't want them too strong either. Hopefully there'll just be a hint of them. It smells it smells great. I think I picked a big, good beer to uh, put them in. That should be enough. Now I'm just going to do a 10 minute steep with those flame out hops. I'll just whack the lid on and then we'll start the chilling process. I have the chiller going. Excuse the boxes of empty Christmas stuff. But it's a Christmas beer. Uh, the water's going through the chiller. So it's time to get the beer running. Just close this up pretty tight. It's my output. Just close it up a little while I get the beer going. Turn the beer on. There we go. Boil and hot. Get in there, let some flow through, and then back it off. 
So it's a nice slow. It cools it down. There we go. Probably going a bit fast. I'll probably back it up a bit. But you don't need to see this. I've seen it before. Even though it was a couple of points up before. I kept my boil in tow. Didn't let it go wild. Oh look, yeah, it's just over 150. Which is perfect. Alright, we're done. 24 litres. There's the boil pot, big pile of hop in the middle. I've got to my numbers that I wanted. It smells great, those spices really uh, smell good. Hopefully some of them will stay around after the ferment. And I'll just put this in the fermenting fridge. It's probably a few points up. I rushed the chill a bit. It's probably, it's just over 30. But in the, my fermenting fridge, I'll get this down within an hour or two to pitching temps. So that's the brew. I'm devastated that the camera wasn't, something happened with the camera when I was putting in the, the spices, but uh, anyway, I'm going to be pitching London Ale yeast. I don't usually use this yeast, normally I'd just use a USO5 for this, but my mate Pete that was here, Peter Y, that was here two weeks ago when we brewed the big red ale, um, he gave me this, so I'm going to try this. So I've got him to blame if it doesn't work. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this should be really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Those uh, Christmas spices smell sensational. And the ESB recipe is tried and true. Um, I'll put two links down the bottom. One to the ESB, this recipe that I've done before without the spices. And I'll put one with the spices. I'll, I'll work something out anyway. Where's my beer? Cheers. On my uh, high tail ale again at the moment. Anyway, I might film some later of me pitching the yeast. If I don't, you'll have seen me do it before. Cut it open, pour it in, give it a stir. Alright, cheers. Uh, I'll do a tasting for this again towards Christmas, maybe Christmas Day. <laughs> cheers, Merry Christmas.